of the art of marriage is to comfort each other and to strive to be each other's best friend. More important, develop the capacity to forgive and heal your differences day by day. Always remember that your love can prevail. It can be the miracle that invites you to learn to blossom and to expand your horizons. When I first uh, knew Jamie, is I was probably in love with her a few uh, years before she was in love with me. She never gave me a chance. We were just, she always said we were best friends and I only like you as a friend. And then one time uh, I went over there and to hang out and then she ended up kissing me. And then I was like, thought I won the lottery at that point. But at that point I couldn't even believe it. So I was in shock for sure. I love you, Jamie. He was just like one of the guys and then uh, just, I don't know, one day it just kind of was like, oh, maybe, yeah, could be something. <laughs> I'm excited to see his reaction. Everyone thinks he's going to cry, which I think so too, but it's just going to be, I think, a sigh of relief for both of us that it's finally happening and this is real. Like it hasn't, today just feels like a normal day to me. I would still love Mark, yes. <laughs> I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of the vows. As a symbol of the vows that we've made. That we have made this day. <laughs> that we made this day. I pledge you my love and respect. I pledge you, pledge you my love and respect. <laughs> my laughter and my tears. My laughter and my tears. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Mark, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it as a symbol of the vows. As the symbol of the vows. We have made this day. We've made this day. I pledge you my love and respect. I pledge you my love and respect. My laughter and my tears. My laughter and my tears. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Mark, you are the man because you finally got what you always wanted, Jamie. I still remember the days when Mark and I helped each other through tough times, aka Adam and Jamie didn't want us. But I'm happy to say it worked out for us both, but the chase was real. This clip is also evidence that Mark is one of the weirdest people to live with and that he really likes to pump his own tires. Take his Twitter feed from 2012, for example. I ain't perfect, but I'm damn close to it. Hashtag champion. I was thrilled when you asked me to be your best man, Mark. I couldn't miss the opportunity to throw some jabs at you on the second best day of your life. The first being the day Jamie finally gave in to you after drooling all over her. There wasn't one thing along your journey <laughs> that you would accept as something you couldn't do or achieve, and we are so very proud of the beautiful, strong woman you have become. You never really cared if you won. You just always had to do your best. If that meant being the top goal scorer on an all-boys hockey team, then that was a bonus. Or catching the bigger fish than Mark every time you fish together. No, but one thing I've learned Jamie, I do to your mom all the time. Let her win once in a while. Don't make it obvious. 
Okay, let Mark win once in a while. Mark, we are so very proud of the farmer, firefighter, and man you are today. Jamie, you are a beautiful bride, both inside and out. You've been a, you've been a part of this family for a long time, and I'm so glad we are now able to say it is official. And I can't see. <laughs> Our wish to you, Mark and Jamie, is to have good health and a lifetime of happiness. privilege to be the first to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Hutchison. Yeah.